Okay, in this I will be looking more at um, the drawing namespace. This is not drawing dot graphics. Um, so let's make a load event. Um, so again, let's make a graphics object. DMG as graphics. I'm going to do GR this time just because I'm going to use RGB. I don't want it to conflict. Uh, let No, GR is equal to me, which means I'm drawing onto the form. No, let's do um, a canvas. No, no, fine. Change my mind. I change my mind a lot. Uh, you can see me dot create graphics. Okay, so then we want to get the paint event, so we can paint um, like so. Basically, I'm going to go over colors, brushes, uh, pens, and getting the location to make like a paint kind of style program. Um, so let's. Uh, gr dot draw line. Now this takes two parameters. It takes uh, a pen and it takes a well, it takes point point. I'm just going to write that. I know it's going to error. Um, so to create a pen, we need to create a color. Um, so we we make a pen like this. Dim p as new pen open parentheses then you can just say uh, brush it, uh, colors you want really uh, color to be more accurate um, you can say color and then you can say snow um, if that's a color actually I shouldn't use snow that would be quite light um, dark green and there's your pen initialized if I had to change this to P and change this to I'm going to do coordinates comma 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 chameleon um, 50 50 so you see it's x1 y1 x2 y2 uh, 150 150 remember this is coordinates this time um, I'll do 250 so you can see the difference. Just why not? Um, so there we are. This means we just we've created a pen and we can reuse this pen. Um, if it was global, we could reuse it in any other function. So if I was to do dim p as pen and then here just put uh, p is equal to new pen, then that would work like that. And then we could actually call look at uh, P from any sub. Um, I'm gonna do that. Okay so let's have a look at colour. So we can dim C as colour. Uh, colour isn't a class it's a structure um, and you can then say colour is equal to color dot and you can say uh, dark blue and then here you can simply pass in C so you can see this uses this and this uses this um, so let's say if you wanted to do uh, your own color so you do color dot from you can get a name which is useful if you want to just um, them to type dark grey and then it like gets the colour and then it it will kind of link it to one of these colours. Um, from known colour, I'm not really sure what differences between these two, but uh, ARGB. Now A stands for alpha, uh, red, R red, G green, B blue. Uh, but you don't need the alpha. Alpha is opacity or opaqueness. Op opacity is the right word. Uh, transparency, that kind of thing. Uh, but if you don't give it, then if you look at the uh, overload, it says alpha and base, or you can do RGB, or you can do alpha RGB. Um, I'm just gonna do this RGB one. So let's do, let's make it, let's uh, randomize 
just to randomize it up, then you can say R and D times by two five five, R and D times two five five, R and D times two five five. So this is gonna uh, get a random color, and yeah, uh, this is not too great doing it like this. I'll show you why in a second, just because of the event kind of. So if I start bringing it back, it's gonna be all like rainbow, which is kind of cool. But this kind of proves my fact. It doesn't change it going in; it's only changes it's going out. If I shrink this down, it won't do anything. If I redo it, bring it back up, it changes like that, which is look pretty cool. Um, so let's look at uh, a brush. So if you any kind of draw, you use a pen, any kind of fill, you use a brush. So uh, you want fill, or you can't fill a line obviously. Uh, rectangle, um, it's something like pen, so let's dim BR as brush, solid brush, like this, and then you just simply do C. A L new, new solid brush, and then C, and that's created a solid brush. Um, yeah, I thought. It was, well, I'm gonna go back to pen in a second because there's one thing I forgot. In fact, I'll do it now. Um, so ignore this for a second. If I go back to uh, draw line, um, the pen actually has a second argument, which is width. So I can actually make this even more funky and do R and D times by ten. So it's the width between uh zero and ten. Uh except zero and ten are half as probable as the other two. If I do uh math dot floor, then it's between zero and nine plus one between that makes it between one and ten. Um so if I kind of do this, it's gonna kind of change the width. Oh, and that actually that's interesting. It's painted it on top of the other one. Um, gr dot clear. Clear actually takes an argument of the background color, uh, which is me, which is the form dot back color. Uh, so that should work. I'm not sure if that's gonna make it flicker. I hope not. Not that I can tell. Let's do fill eclipse actually. Eclipse is obviously a kind of oval. I think that's the same thing, I believe. Uh, but I guess an oval can be. Uh, yeah, so that works. Oh, it's come back to my desktop. So if we resize it like this, you can see. Oh, it is doing the white flicker. Uh, let me get rid of this then. That should fix it. Oh well, oh no, it's flickering top of the color. It's just it, you know, it takes. Um, you can't do it all instantly. It kind of has to draw it in an order. So that's the you know, kind of draw some top to bottom. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can do a lot of a lot of things with this. If I want to make a function, function get C uh, as color, then you can put all this inside here, return C, I'm just going to use a function and then call this get C, get C, and that should work now. Just, it will look the same as what it was before, but it's a bit better organized. Okay, finally I want to go and do a uh, pen tool. Um, so let's... what do I want to do? Uh, mouse move is the event I want looking for. Like this. Um, and it's got mouse event arg so we can access E. Um, and I basically just want to draw... oh a pen actually would be kind of difficult actually. Uh, draw, I'll, I'll draw a dot. Um, so. Uh, 
Uh, so you want location will be e dot x minus five. I'll show you in a second. E dot y minus five, and then the width and height will be ten. This is just so it's centered. So okay, what's we got there? Uh, br. Oh, uh, it's not pen on it. Solid brush. Okay, that should work now. Yay! <laughs> so it's kind of a thing. If you wanted to make a decent um, paint program, you would probably want to draw lines. Because if I go really fast, it kind of like skips. Whereas if you draw a line from the previous location, then that would work. In fact, I can do it pretty easily. That should work. It should draw lines from. Yeah, there we are. That works. Um, it looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's draw drew it from the uh, thing. So you might need to do some boolean logic saying if it's the first time, don't uh, don't do this. Like awesome stuff. Um, but yeah, that you get the idea.